Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. As always, say we're going to talk about how to change your dynamic refresh rate, DDR, in Windows 10 or 11, or probably, for most of you, more importantly, how to leave it alone. So, it manages the frame rates on your computer. Windows manages it and does a pretty good job on it. The only exception to the rule here might be, let's say you're on a laptop and you're using battery power a lot, or a tablet. Then you might want to lower your refresh rate. Now, the downside is if you're watching a lot of videos, you're going to see it. It's going to glitch, different stuff like that. So, stutter, I think I marked it here, stutter, slowdowns, etc. But let's say you're just using a laptop, you're on an airplane a lot, etc., and you just want to do some work, you're not consuming a lot of videos, audio, mostly video, then you could actually tweak this down, and that would allow you to get a longer battery life. So, again, as a general rule for me, if you plug it in, leave it alone if you're running on battery it's a it's an option so let's take a look here let's go to start and let's click on settings and you're gonna find system right here you want to be under the display tab now Windows 11 this is 10 11 will be pretty much identical so you're gonna scroll down and look for advanced display settings right here and as you can see, scroll down, find refresh rate. I'm at 60. I got a beast of a machine. If I wanted to, I could crank it right up. Maybe that would improve things. That's another option. I'm going to leave it where it's at simply because I haven't had a problem. So again, like I said, Windows does a pretty good job of picking your refresh rate. If you're on a laptop, now you got to guess. So, for example, you could probably get a little more battery life by splitting the difference. So, if you're at 60 and the low is 50, let's split the difference and choose that. You can keep the changes or revert. You have 11 seconds to make up your mind. Pretty easy to do. I'm actually flipped over to my other monitor right now, so you're not seeing the screen go blank, but that's okay. That's what will happen. So, when you change it, your screen will go black, then that'll pop up, and that's about it. So... You could try any one of them. Again, I would probably split the difference between the highest and the lowest available, or take that back. I would split the difference between your default setting and the lowest setting if you're on a laptop. Everybody else, gamers, you might want to try a little bit higher. Again, I wouldn't go nuts. This is kind of trial and error, and that's because every computer, your RAM, your video card, your video card RAM, your hard drive, your monitor, everything is a variable. So I don't know where to tell you except to maybe jump one at a time. So I'll do 100, hit keep, and you're all set. And you just click the X right here and close it out. So there you have it. So once again, dynamic refresh rate as a general rule, you probably don't need to touch it. But if you're having battery issues, this is just one of the many areas you can look at to extend your battery life. There you have it. As always, you know the drill. You know what you can find over here, a little subscribe button down here. Yep, yep, yep. And click like if we helped you out. Thanks for watching. As always, see ya.